Hey everyone, welcome back to the workshop. Artist Empire here, and in today's fun video, we're going to be hopping back over onto the longer Ray 5 laser engraver and finishing up the Christmas train I showed you in the last video. I'd already made some parts to it, and I need to finish it up. I asked you guys when I installed the air assist kit in the previous laser video that I've done, would you guys like to see me complete the Christmas train, and you guys responded positively to it, so that is what this video is about. The file for the Christmas train I'm about to show you is a free file from Thangiverse. Thangiverse is more known for 3D printing files, but this file is also there along with several other laser engraver and cutting patterns as well. And I will leave a link in the description box below in case any of you guys would like to make the train yourself. And all credit goes to the designer of the Christmas train. But really, really cool. Again, we've already got three parts of it and it needs two more pieces to complete the whole Christmas train consist. We have the locomotive here and the tender, which was really cool. This was the first real laser cut project that I really sunk my teeth into and done but really really cool it has some beautiful detail and keep in mind my longer ray 5 is a 5 watt diode laser and it still makes beautiful very beautiful and intricate pieces here it cut this out in around two hours out of three millimeter craft plywood and I picked that up locally at Hobby Lobby and it's over in the modeling section, but that is what I use for all of this. It has some beautiful Christmas decor on it. And then we have the tender here that will connect to the train. And then down here, we have the Christmas caboose here. Again, with more of that beautiful detailing on it. But really, really amazing. I'm learning so much with the longer Ray 5 laser engraver and just the light burn software and everything. But really, really cool. I've already went out and got more of the 3 millimeter craft plywood. And I'm going to load it into the longer Ray 5 laser engraver put on my safety glasses, frame the project out, and we're going to get started. And over here at the Ray 5, we are going to load the 3mm craft plywood in there and frame it out. And I will do this several times, and after I'm satisfied with it, I will put it down with tape. And this is just something I do to keep everything in place, and I'll turn on my extraction dust fans here. And before we hit start on it, I will show you the actual file here. It is on Thangiverse, and it is a free download. And when you download it, the instructions are also on the website. And here is the file loaded in Lightburn. And you will take note of two different colored lines here. The black lines will actually be laser cut, and these blue lines will be just engraved to show the detail but we will hit start on the Ray 5 here and it will begin engraving and obviously the speed of the video footage here is sped up for time reasons but it took around 45 minutes to cut out the final pieces of the Christmas train here the actual cutting that it's doing now is at a speed of 75 percent and a slower 300 speed with three passes on each piece to cut it out and the engraving will be at 50% power and a much quicker speed of 3000 with a single pass. I really want to thank my buddy Nighthood Creations. Sam came down and gave me a crash course on the Lightburn software and I've been having fun with it ever since. And the air assist that we installed in the last laser video is also on and I can tell it's producing some great cuts and much cleaner cuts with the added air assist and my little basic bathroom exhaust fan I have attached to the shop wall behind the laser is doing a great job of sucking out all of the fumes and the dust if you guys like what you're seeing, I would highly encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also follow me over on Instagram at Artisan Pirate. I'd really appreciate the support. Now, I did not leave the shop during any of this process here. I was in the shop keeping a careful eye on it. You never want to leave the laser unattended. After it does all the cuts, it will quickly do all of the engraving here of the Christmas details and all and you can see it was a much quicker process and after everything was done I unplugged the laser 
and moved the head back to remove everything and a lot of the pieces fell out showing that it cut cleanly but some pieces need a very sharp exacto knife to finish removing them keep in mind this is a 5 watt laser and I'm still learning and playing with the power settings but after all the pieces are popped out I will pull up the PDF instructions here and assemble everything with just some dollar store super glue just little dabs of the glue is more than enough and I'm just following the instructions on my laptop I see several possibilities now that I'm familiar with the Lightburn software to create more and more amazing projects and if you would like me to document them as I am doing here I would be more than happy to do that and it took me around 10 minutes to assemble both of these little cars here one is a gondola light car and the car I am assembling right here is the Christmas tree holder car you could put a little miniature Christmas tree and lay it down in there but I'm so happy to now have all of the pieces done and I have the whole Christmas train consist now really really cool and here is a more longer shot of the Christmas train And that is how easy it is to laser cut these little pieces out on my longer Ray 5, 5 watt laser engraver. Really, really cool. One thing I like to note is that in the original file on Thingiverse, which again, if you guys want to try this full project, I'll link it in the comments below. But the product description said, in the file description said that the original laser that made this was a 60 watt. I made it on a 5 watt laser. I've just took my time and played with the settings and dialed in everything. It's trial and error learning this stuff, but really, really cool. It took around 45 minutes to cut out all of these parts on the laser engraver, and they have beautiful details here. Of course, the box car here that you can put little goodies in. And I think this is a log carrying car where you can go out in the yard and cut out a couple sticks for it to be carrying. But really, really cool. You don't have to stop with just the train, these two cars, and the caboose. You could make several of these little gondola cars, put some little figures in them or anything, and have them go all the way across your mantle for Christmas and have it a really cool Christmas tradition to have something like this out. Of course, if you're really good with the light burn software, which I'm just now getting familiar with and really starting to gel with, if you're really good with it, you could probably take away all the Christmas decor on this and theme this train to any season or anything you would like to, but really, really cool. I had a lot of fun making this and I'm having a lot of fun learning. I hope you guys learned something in this video. This is kind of new for me and I'm really excited to try new stuff like this in the upcoming year, but really really cool as always thank you longer for the amazing longer ray 5 laser engraver and now the added air assist i know what will help me all but eliminate some of the charring that you see on some of the back sides of the pieces here is to get a spool board it's just with christmas coming up i need to save my money and i might treat myself to a nice spool board or try to make a diy one after the holidays are through but i really wanted to document this video and make this and finish out the whole Christmas train to show you guys that you guys had showed interest in it after I had installed the air assist on the laser engraver but really really cool had a lot of fun making it and I hope you guys like watching me make it if you're new here please subscribe to the channel and also follow me over on Instagram at artisan pirate links to all my social medias will always be linked down in the description box below these videos that's about all for this one and remember guys if I can make it or do it so can you I'm the artisan pirate Merry Christmas Take care, and I'll see you guys real soon.